Hello to all my friends out there. So I'm having a little tea. I wanted to make uh, iced tea. You know, if you if you want good iced tea, if you brew your tea and you pour it directly over ice, that's how you get the best iced tea. And this tea is one of the mildest. It's caffeine free. It's a good one for um, iced tea. So, okay, my chat is on two things. Haters and trolls and long-term food storage. Okay, the first one is haters and trolls. You know, I was thinking, how do we know these are haters and trolls? This is a thing about uh, online. You don't know who you're talking to, what you're talking to. You don't know. And I was thinking about the comments, and I thought, you know, uh, the ones that are supposed to be really hateful uh, really didn't bother me. And, and you know what they seem like? They seem like somebody trying to uh, seem stupid. And I thought, you know, that is really bizarre. Who would try to seem stupid? Well, it could be a stupid person, but it could also be not a person. It could be the AI. And so, you know, is it possible that certain sites can be, um, you know, plagued with haters and trolls generated by the AI? Yeah, that could happen. Uh, also, you know, like when you'll see, uh, you know, you'll see very few views. Um, that is highly suspicious. That just says that the AI is not, um, is not feeding your stuff. But um, my stuff seems to be getting out there. I'm not complaining about that. I'm just, um, I'm just saying that it's possible that the haters and trolls are the AI. Then the news is mostly fake and uh, it's nothing to be alarmed. Okay, so now I want to show you guys what I bought. <laughs> this is cute. Now back to important things. This is a very cute leather black leather skirt that I, I got zipper down the front super cute mini skirt so I bought this you know so I could sell this because I had a, I had a, um, a video and I put it on my Twitter and I leave Twitter link the link so you guys can get to my Twitter and uh, there's a video on there 10 things to sell sell. I also posted um, a game, a ga let me see if I can get it just to show you guys. Uh, the guy said, you know, to try and find games. So I found this game. I had a watcher on it. Uh, it remains to be seen. I have this CD and I have this game. So um, I, I posted a skirt and some games. And we'll see how the, that is what was, um, that was what suggested, and I thought, you know, we'll try it. They're cheap enough. Okay, now, starting now, I'm just going to transition into long-term food storage. That means, you know, uh, food storage that is going to cause me to survive. Uh, you know, uh, do I see evidence, you know, like, okay, you know, the haters and trolls, possibly those are, are fake uh, trolls and haters. Those possibly are the AI, and I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, job loss. Okay, I was at the mall, and I saw... Okay, we know Sears left the mall, because I was there. I saw evidence. I bought stuff. It's no longer there. I saw Charlotte Ruth and New York and Company are going out of business. So that is evidence that... Uh, we could be in for some massive job uh, loss. Also, you know, the um, 
the mention about um, the animals dying and some of the crops being uh, destroyed. I thought, yeah, that, that seems possible. So, you know, we could be headed for um, some kind of inflationary uh, um, condition. I wouldn't doubt it. And, and it seems like some of the people that follow me are on the same uh, page with that. So uh, what I want to do is I want to start out with things that I'm likely to run out of. So you remember the woman and she ran out of bread, fruit, and vegetables? So to make bread, I want to stockpile flour. And you know, I think I'm going to go with a gold medal premium. I'm going to buy the 10-pound bags. Sugar, 10 pounds. Yeast. I think I, I don't think I'm going to mess around with yeast. Uh, I'm going to buy some good quality yeast, baking powder, and salt. Baking powder for biscuits. I want to give you uh, my uh, biscuit recipe. I like to include the recipes as much as I possibly can. Uh, you know, uh, Pink Fairy's channel is pretty much gone. The same thing could happen to me. Here's the Pioneer white bread. Uh, I would suggest uh, writing these down and not just assuming that my YouTube and Twitter is going to be here indefinitely. So I would want the ability to make bread so that I wouldn't run out of bread. Yeast, baking powder, and salt. Uh, I think start out with maybe six... six um, of the big, big jars of salt. I don't know where mine is. I was going to show you guys. Oh, here it is. Another thing is, if anything happens, salt can be used for barter. Six of those. And then uh, shortening. I think I'm just going to go with Crisco rather than lard. Um, I can buy the large cans of uh, shortening at Walmart. Oatmeal, the big, big, um, the big packages of oatmeal, and then powdered milk. I have uh, stars by probably the most important ones. Powdered milk would be uh, one of the most important. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Wal Walmart powdered milk. And then beans, rice, potatoes, yams, and sweet potatoes. Um, beans and rice, you know, start out with 10 pounds if you don't have, have that much. Um, you remember the story of, of the lady and she was starving and the man gave her beans or rice and vegetables and he told her to plant a garden. She was really starving. And then canned fruit and vegetables. And I would start out with, uh, 20 cans fruit and 20 cans vegetables 10 pounds potatoes yams and sweet potatoes that'd be a good good start on the uh, long-term um, food storage uh, they say you need uh, 750 pounds of uh, food per person per year and then stockpile some uh, tea tea is cheaper than uh, Coffee. Coffee and sugar can be used for barter. If, and another thing, I'll be stockpiling as soon as I can lay my hands on them, uh, very reasonable, is uh, heavy winter coats. And I noticed this year there was none to be had. Um, I, had I had quite a few. Uh, I, I um, stored um, leather coats, but I'm, I'm moving away from those. And I'm going, I might buy them new, but I'm going into like heavy coats that, you know, in case you need it for survival. I think those would be the best ones for barter as well. Sleeping bags, camp stoves, uh, toilet paper, bleach, and uh, mostly I think I'm going to stick with the food storage uh, these items to make sure I have those for now. Okay, you guys. God bless you all.